I'm Miss Jennifer, preschool specialist with the Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department's Banneker Community Center. Today I would like to share some rhymes and songs about animals that live in very cold parts of the world. Some of these animals change or adapt to live in places with lots of cold, snowy weather. The Arctic fox, for example, grows a thick fur coat in the winter to stay warm, but that fur coat also changes color. In the summer, the fox has brown fur to blend in with rocks and plants, but in the winter, it grows white fur to blend in with the snow. That makes it harder for other animals to see him. He can sneak up on rabbits and hide from wolves. Let's use the flannel board for a rhyme about some animals who live in the snow. It goes like this. There's something in the snow, now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound? Oh, oh. A wolf is what I found. There's something in the snow, now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound? Caw, caw, caw. A bird is what I found. There's something in the snow, now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound? Grr, grr. A bear is what I found. There's something in the snow, now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound? Waddle, 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 waddle. A penguin is what I found. I want to introduce you to my friend, Marco. Marco is a polar bear, and that means he lives near the Arctic where it's cold and snowy almost all the time. Polar bears have white fur so they can blend into their environment. That's called camouflage. Their coat is so well camouflaged in the Arctic environment that sometimes they can look like a snowdrift. Polar bears have a thick layer of body fat that helps keep them warm while they're swimming and a double layer fur coat that insulates them from the very cold air. Let's do a rhyme about Marco. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. He stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color is that fish? Yeah, it's yellow. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. He stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color is that fish? It's blue, that's right. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. He stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color fish did he get this time? It's red. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. He stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color fish did Marco get this time? It's orange. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. I'll make a wish. He stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color fish did Marco get this time? It's purple, that's right. Let's stand up and move around a little bit. We'll do a rhyme about a polar bear. It goes like this. Polar bear, polar bear, turn around. Polar bear, polar bear, touch the ground. Polar bear, polar bear, reach down low. Polar bear, polar bear, touch your toe. Polar bear, polar bear, reach up high. Polar bear, polar bear, wave goodbye. 
Thanks for joining me today. I'll leave some suggestions for books about Arctic animals and their adaptations in the description. Check back here tomorrow for preschool arts and crafts when we'll make an Arctic fox craft using a paper plate. Have a great day. Bye friends.